everybody. It's been a hot minute since I have put anything on my channel. Um, I've gotten a boost in views and uh, people that follow the channel. So thank you to those people if you are watching this because it has been a minute since I've posted anything. Uh, Randy and I decided to go to Trader Joe's today, which is about 45 minutes, an hour from where we live. Uh, we go about four times a year, but we have not gone that much since the pandemic started. I think I've only gone one time um, since the beginning of the pandemic, past few years here. It's been a while. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of these bags and then go over what I got. We spent, what did we spend? Here we go. $187 and some change. Um, this is not a normal grocery haul. Like usually I make a meal plan and then um, my groceries go along with that meal plan. This is a, we go to Trader Joe's once in a while and we get our favorite things times, you know, four or five so that we have them on hand. So let me go ahead and get everything out of these bags and then we'll go over the items, yay! Okay, I'm going to start with some freezer items here. This, if you've watched my channel, then you know that um, the organic rainbow cauliflower frozen is like one of my favorite foods in the whole world. I have missed this so much, so I went ahead and grabbed four of them just to keep in the deep freeze for when I want to go ahead and make that. Um, I grabbed some sweet potato Fries, we use our air fryer a lot. I grabbed some root vegetable fries. I've not tried these, but I can tell that I'm probably going to love them. Um, that can also be cooked up quick in the air fryer. Just so you guys know, the root vegetables were not good. Like, I did not like those in the air fryer at all. If you've tried these and have a way to cook them, please let me know because that was an epic fail for sure. I got the chicken cilantro mini wontons. My son loves, loves, loves these. I just use some chicken broth with these and um, let them, you know, till they float up to the top or whatever the directions are, I can't remember. And they are very delicious. I highly recommend them. I did go ahead and just pick up some ground beef just because we needed some um, for some goulash we're gonna make this week. And then this is my absolute favorite face um, soap and face cream. It's the Nourish All-in-One Facial Cleaner and then the Facial Moisturizer. I highly recommend these. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're my favorite and they're not too expensive at all. Um, we did get three of the spicy taco sauce because we love, love, love this stuff. So um, we've got three. We're going to be set for a while. I went ahead and grabbed some beet juice. I haven't tried Trader Joe's beet juice, but I'm hoping I like it. And then I grabbed um, some oat milk just because I was out and I like to make my tea out of that in the morning. I grabbed a two pack of green bell pepper. That's for something I'm making this week. Um, I got the sweet potato ribbons. I love these, you guys. Absolutely love them. And so I'm going to be making spaghetti this week, but I throw these in my uh, meat sauce. And then I picked up the everything but the bagel seasoning Greek style yogurt because, you know, this is going to be good. I mean, everything but the bagel seasoning is good on everything, so pretty excited about it. I did grab a pack of the uh, petite carrots that they have. I love these as well, so I'll put these for one of the meals we have this week. I grabbed some bolognese sauce, um, two of them. Uh, we grabbed a ketchup just because we were out and we happened to be there. I grabbed the spiced chai black tea concentrate. That's the tea that I like to mix with my oat milk. I've actually not tried the Trader Joe brand, so I'm pretty sure it'll be good because I love the way they season stuff. Um, this is the canned cowboy caviar, and we have missed this stuff. Like, we use it so very much when we have it on hand. We got four jars of this. We weren't playing around. I went ahead and picked up four almond croissants and four chocolate croissants. These are really good. You have to let them rise the night before, and then you bake them off or whatever for the following day. And I will probably do that this next weekend, either Saturday or Sunday morning. I went ahead and picked up these 
Fig and Olive Crisp because I love them. I got the Brioche Toast because I love those as well. And then we got the Nan Crackers because we also like those. There's not too many crackers that I've met that I dislike. That is a true story, but these ones are really, really good. Okay, so let's talk spices. I did pick up the 21 Seasoning Salute. I got three of them because it's one of my favorite seasonings to use and I've been out for a long while now. I got the Zatar Seasoning Blend. I may have crucified that pronunciation. I got Everything But The Bagel Seasoning, three of those because although other companies make everything but the bagel seasoning. It just doesn't compare to Trader Joe's in my opinion, and I love this stuff, love it. Um, I got everything but the aote seasoning, which we also love, two of those. And then we had never tried this uh, Barbecue 101 seasoning, so we picked it up to see if we love it as much as we love the other spices, but look at all the spices I got, you guys just because we don't go there very often. And now we've got all of our favorite spices on hand for a while. I grabbed this Pappardell pasta because it looked good. <laughs> I have no idea, I might use these strong enough. I don't know, in a couple weeks or a month or so, but I've got this on hand. That looks like it would be good in chicken noodle soup too. There's an idea. It just looked good, is why I grabbed it. This was all very impulse buying. Um, I mean, we knew we would pick up our favorite things but we picked up some other stuff that caught our eye as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, this will stack up my spices again in my pantry with some of my favorite staples from Trader Joe's and my freezer. So I'm really excited about it all. And then one more little thing here, we did pick up a tuna for our cat <laughs> because anytime we open a can, she goes nuts and thinks it's tuna. I don't know why, because if we do have tuna, usually it is not the canned variety. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but for some reason she puts can with tuna and she likes it. So we got her a little bit of a treat. We were feeling nice. So anyway, that is our Trader Joe haul. It is nice to see everybody. I am, I have the intention of putting a video, video whew, of putting a video up once a week. Um, I haven't decided the day yet, but I will decide, and that is when you'll see this video. I'm probably going to start the first week of March and then try to do a video a week, and then we'll see how that goes. i um, not sure if it'll move up to two videos. Uh, as you guys know, I don't have the time I once had uh, because of my employment now. I'm pretty freaking busy, a lot, a lot, a lot, but I do really miss doing this. It's been, it was so much fun when I did do it. And um, I've been getting a lot of views lately. So if people are liking it, I might start making some. So anyways, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.